Are you prepared to live in a world in which every newborn baby is microchipped? We all know that this is in the pipeline in the near future, unless humanity stands up and does whatever it takes to stop it. According to a recent report, the microchipping of newborn babies may be rolled out as early as May 2014, in Europe and the US. Though many question the accuracy of this time frame, there is no doubt that the microchipping of the entire population is a major goal of TPTB. On May 2014, through Europe newborn children will be compelled to take in a subcutaneous RFID chip. Public clinics in the European Union are to be alerted. The chip in inquiry will be contributed with a report sheet on the newborn. This chip will also be an impressive GPS sensor that will task with a micro-disposable battery every two years in state clinics. GPS chip grants an edge of error of 5 meters as a statement that it is excellent. It will be linked straight to a satellite, which will guide the networks. As forecasted, this chip will be essential for all kids born after May 2014, but with a present confirmation date until December 2016. Plans underway to microchip all newborns in the United States and Europe regarding plans to microchip newborns, Dr. Kilda said that the United States has been moving in this direction in secrecy. She added that in Sweden, Prime Minister Olaf Palm gave permission in 1973 to implant prisoners, and Data Inspections X Director General January Fries revealed that nursing home patients were implanted in the mid-1980s. The technology is revealed in the 1972-47 Swedish State Report, Stans Officielo Utradninger. Are you prepared to live in a world in which every newborn baby is microchipped? And finally are you ready to have your every move tracked, recorded and placed in Big Brother's data bank? According to the Finnish article, distributed to doctors and medical students, time is running out for changing the direction of military medicine and mind control technology, ensuring the future of human freedom. Implanted human beings can be followed anywhere. Their brain functions can be remotely monitored by supercomputers and even altered through the changing of frequencies, wrote Dr. Kilda. Guinea pigs in secret experiments have included prisoners, soldiers, mental patients, heavy-kept children, deaf and blind people, homosexuals, single women, the elderly, school children, and any group of people considered marginal by the elite experimenters. The published experiences of prisoners in Utah State Prison for example, are shocking to the conscience. Today's microchips operate by means of low-frequency radio waves that target them. With the help of satellites, the implanted person can be tracked anywhere on the globe. Such a technique was among a number tested in the Iraq War, according to Dr. Carl Sanders, who invented the Intelligence Man Interface IMI Biotic, which is injected into people. Earlier during the Vietnam War, soldiers were injected with the Rambo chip, designed to increase adrenaline flow into the bloodstream. The 20 billion bit second supercomputers of the United States National Security Agency NSA could now see and hear what soldiers experience in the battlefield with a remote monitoring system or MS. When a 5 micromillimeter microchip the diameter of a strand of hair is 50 micromillimeters is placed into optical nerve of the eye. Dr. Kilda indicates it draws neuroimpulses from the brain that embody the experiences, smells, sights, and voice of the implanted person. Once transferred and stored in a computer, these neuroimpulses can be projected back to the person's brain via the microchip to be re-experienced. Using a RMS, a land-based computer operator can send electromagnetic messages encoded as signals to the nervous system, affecting the target's performance. With RMS, healthy persons can be induced to see hallucinations, and to hear voices in their heads. Every thought, reaction, hearing, and visual observation causes a certain neurological potential, spikes, and patterns in the brain in its electromagnetic fields, which can now be decoded into thoughts, pictures, and voices, Dr. Kilda adds. Electromagnetic stimulation can therefore change a person's brain waves and affect muscular activity causing painful muscular cramps experienced as torture.